Hi guys, it's Elisa with Fusion DIY. I just want to welcome you back to my channel. In today's video, I'm working on this toy chest that I picked up at a town-wide yard sale. I paid $5 for it, and you can see that it's in really good condition. It does have some water stains on it, but for the most part, it didn't smell, and the joints were sturdy, and for the price of $5, I thought I could turn this into a work of art. I'm actually going to be making it a blanket chest. So it does need to be vacuumed out on the inside, but it's really in good condition. And so that's what I'm going to use it for. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm taking some Dawn dish detergent in hot water and a rag, and I'm actually wiping down the piece before I go ahead and put some top coat to it. This toy chest had to have been sitting someplace dusty and dirty because wait till you see the amount of dirt that comes off this. Look at that. It was very dirty. So um, I'm going to wipe it down uh, with soap and water the first time, and then I am going to go back and I'm going to wipe it down again, then just with clear water to get any of the residual soap and uh, any dirt that I might have missed out of it. So now you can see I'm dipping my rag in a bowl of clear water and that is a new clean rag. And I'm going to again wipe down the piece to get any of the residual dish detergent off of the wood because I want my paint to adhere to the wood and not to any dish detergent or any leftover dirt that might have been left behind. So now I'm taking my polycrylic and I'm going to give this chest a coat of polycrylic which is going to seal in all of the tannins and it will prevent any bleed through uh, once I paint this. My plan was to paint it white and so I just wanted to make sure that once I've gotten my paint on I don't have to go back and reseal it. So I'm going to give it one coat. I'm going to let that dry for about two hours, and then I'm going to come back and give it a second coat. So this is the second coat that I'm giving it. And look at the how the polycrylic brings out the richness in the wood. I really do love that. If this piece was not water stained, I would probably have left it a natural color. But there was a lot of water stains on it. And so I really just didn't want to uh, leave it the color. That's why I decided to paint it white to hide all of that. So now I'm going to take my Country Chic paint in the color Simplicity, which is the white white. And I really do love this paint. Look at the coverage that you get with it. Uh, I have used other chalk paints and this one right now is my favorite. And I would be willing to try something else. But right now, this is the paint that I'm loving. It is a clay-based paint and so um, it just is a really thick paint and much easier to work with than some of the other chalk paints that I have used in the past.
I wanted you guys to see the coverage that you get uh, with this paint. And so I've got my phone in my left hand and I'm painting with my right, or maybe it's vice versa. But anyway, uh, I apologize for how the camera is moving around. I hope you guys don't get seasick, but it's not easy to film with one hand and paint with the other. Um, anyway, I just wanted you to see what a great job this paint does. So this is how it looked after the first coat, and now I'm going back and I'm giving it a second coat. For the most part, it took only two coats of paint. There were some places where I had to touch it up with a little bit of a third coat here and there, but predominantly the whole thing took two coats, and I think that it really just turned out great, and it really gave me an excellent base, base to which I could apply a transfer. Now one thing to note, is that after I painted this and I let the paint dry, I did give it a coat of polycrylic again. I gave it another top coat. And so now I'm going to start working on the transfer. Transfers are very, very easy to use. If you haven't used one before, I highly recommend that you do. All you want to do is you want to lay down your transfer where you want it, and then there's a piece of uh, cellophane or plastic that goes over it, and you lay it down, and then you use this transfer tool, and you simply rub and rub and rub until the transfer transfers to the piece of furniture or whatever other project it is that you're working with. And as I'd mentioned, I did give this a coat of polycrylic before I started, uh, which helps the transfer adhere to your project. And here is a close-up of me putting the transfer onto the furniture. Really all you have to do is just put it where you want it and press it down using this transfer tool. It does take a little bit of elbow grease sometimes, but you will see that the results are well worth the effort when you finally get it done. As you are rubbing, uh, you're also peeling back the cellophane to make sure that your transfer has transferred. And if for any reason a piece of the transfer starts to peel up on your plastic or on your cellophane, you just lay it back down and go back over the piece and it will transfer onto your furniture. And you just keep have, have to keep working it until it is everything is transferred. The one thing I do want to caution you about is when you are pulling up the cellophane off your transfer, you want to go very slowly because if you pull it up too fast and your transfer is not all the way adhered to your furniture, you will rip the transfer. So this is one of those projects where you need some time and hopefully no distractions from pets or little ones so that you can get the transfer down all at one time. So 
So one of the things that I wanted to point out is at the very bottom of this transfer, it looks as though it's cut off. But when these transfers are manufactured, they manufacture them in sheets or in pages. So this was one of three pages. So what I'm going to do, as soon as I get the rest of this transfer off, I'm going to go and get the second page and I'm going to match up the second page with the first page and carry it over to the front of the chest. And you'll see that in just a moment. Now what I'm going to do is take a piece of the cellophane, and you don't have to do this, you can actually use your fingers. Um, I prefer to use the cellophane, and I'm rubbing all of the edges of the transfer just to make sure that everything is down securely. I don't like to use my fingers because I'm afraid that I'm going to catch a fingernail on it and then I'm gonna tear it. So here is the second page that I am going to match up to the first page, and I'm simply gonna carry the transfer down to the front of the chest. So what I'm doing here is I am trying to put the transfer on the lip of the lid and that was a challenge. I think in hindsight, if I were to do this again, I probably would have cut the transfer where it comes to the edge of the lid and then I would have just attached the other piece or the remaining piece of that page onto the front of the chest because what I'll do here is after I transfer onto the edge of the lid then I'm going to start to work my way down and you'll see I'll take a razor blade and cut the transfer so that you can open the lid.
So the third page of the transfer was a piece that I cut and I matched up and I actually put this down on the floor so that it was a little bit easier for me to work on. The sun was beginning to fade and so I was trying to work in the sunlight as much as I possibly could and you can see that I am, I've got a lot of shadows uh, and sunlight that I'm working in but it really helped me to be able to get this project done. And here is the finished project. I really love how this turned out. I think it is such a beautiful transfer. I am probably not gonna sell this right away, if at all. I'll probably use this in my own home for a little while, and then I will potentially sell it. But here's another angle. And then I also wanted to give you a close-up of the transfer so that you could see the detail and how beautiful it is. So that's my project that I worked on this week. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and give this video a thumbs up and comment below. Did you enjoy this? Do you want to see more projects like this? Your comments and your giving my videos a thumb up definitely helps my channel grow. So once again, thank you for joining me. Again, this is Elisa with Fusion DIY. And I hope that you and your family have an awesome week. God bless.